It is a common mistake to think autopilots are only useful on larger vessels. Regardless of your ship size, autopilots can be a great help when sailing solo. While keeping the boat safely on course, autopilots allow the skipper to concentrate on other duties such as reefing the sails, check charts, weather forecasts, or simply cook underway. There it is with just a little bit of tension. For small crafts, there is a variety of crude tiller clutches or brakes, but none of those will keep your boat precisely on course for an extensive period. The tiller pilot will. Self-contained steering systems, known as tiller pilots, are simple to install and require little power. They will not only steer the boat at the push of a button, but can also assist to perform basic maneuvers such as stacking and jiving. When looking for a tiller pilot, look no further than the ones from Raymarine and Simrad. Both companies are long-standing quality marine electronics suppliers and I believe the only ones who make tiller pilots. Tiller pilots work as a standalone steering aid with some models being networkable and controllable from a chart plotter. For more precise navigation, they can utilize other instruments' data on a network, such as wind and water speed. Installation on small crafts, such as a Siren 17, is easy. The area aft of the cockpit is clear of any lines or hardware which would get in the way, and the platform on the starboard side provides a perfect area to securely mount the tiller pilot. For proper installation, an optional pedestal and tiller bracket may be needed to ensure the installation specs specified by the manufacturer are met. For my Saran 17, I had to purchase a 90mm pedestal and a 30mm tiller bracket. Basic models use a simple two-wire power supply, and more advanced models will also need to be connected to your boat instruments network. Once the installation is complete, it is important to calibrate the tiller pilot compass and response settings. This is part of the commissioning process, which is partly automated, but needs to be performed on calm waters and mild breeze conditions. Once the tiller pilot is properly calibrated, you will enjoy instant and reliable steering. The main drawback of a tiller pilot, as opposed to below-the-deck steering systems, is that to regain manual steering, you will need to physically detach the pilot arm from the tiller and swing it away clear of the skipper workspace. Operating a tiller pilot is easy using a few control buttons on the unit. Before using the tiller pilot, set the drive arm in the mid position. Put your boat on the chosen course and attach the pilot arm to the tiller bracket. You can then manually steer the boat by pressing and holding down the port or starboard side trim button. A short press on the auto standby button will engage self-steer and let the pilot do the work. Trim buttons provide a quick way to make heading adjustments. A short press will result in a one degree trim. A longer press will trim your course 10 degrees at a time. Some models have separate buttons for one and 10 degree adjustment. Units that are networkable can also be controlled from a chart plotter with additional functionality such as a nav mode which will steer the boat to a waypoint on the chart. The tiller pilot is of great help to head into the wind and host your mainsail, but it's also a nice convenience to have under light winds or during long journeys when steering the boat can get boring. I like to use mine when in need to relax, read a book or do small repairs on the way. So don't be shy with your little boat and try a tiller pilot, you won't regret it. I hope you enjoy watching and I wish you happy sailing.